Last week, I shared with you that the bowling community was going to be putting on a benefit tournament for Mike. Well, our family showed up, and here's his team, and a lot, a lot, a lot of other people showed up as well. I'm just giving you a little walkthrough of the bowling alley and showing you all of these amazing people. They came from all over, well, four states, that's a lot actually, to come bowl this tournament. Um, it was incredible, you guys. We saw people that we haven't seen in years, um, specifically some friends from Abilene that now live here in Broken Arrow. They bowled this tournament and it was super cool. There are people that came and bowled that haven't bowled in years and years and years that literally just said, we're bowling this tournament to help support Mike and I. Um, it was amazing just seeing the love and outpour of kindness shown. This right here is Carol. She played a major huge role in this tournament. And these are some of the other people that had a big part in it. And then these right here are the people I was talking about from Abilene that Mike used to bowl with that live here now. And this was the cool shirt that they had made up for the tournament. There was also a silent auction that took place. And you guys, I cannot even <laughs> describe to you how much we appreciate all that was done for us and the amount of money that was raised was unbelievable. And again, we cannot say thank you enough. Good morning. All right, you guys. Today is an exciting day for our family here in Oklahoma. We told you last week that Mike is gonna get to meet his sister this week, and today is the day. Okay, so Kathy and her daughter Emma arrived from England Saturday night in Abilene, Texas. They had a lot of uh, weather delays and all that, so um, they didn't get in until like midnight, which sadly took away a little bit of their time visiting with Mike's sister, Anne. So, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys some pictures and maybe a little video or two of that that they sent me from their meeting the first time. But um, she got to meet her birth mom yesterday and it was pretty emotional from what we've been told and there's a little short, short video of it. Then this morning they are loading up and making the six hour drive here to Oklahoma and are gonna arrive at our house around like 4.30 or 5, if all goes well. Um, we're expecting some uh, severe weather tonight, so I hate that for them to have to be here and experience our lovely Oklahoma weather, but it is what it is. I do hope and pray that they make it here before all those storms hit. But anyways, we are going to be cooking out on the Blackstone for everybody tonight. All 12 of my family, my kids, their kids, Mike and I will be here, plus the four, three of them arriving today, Anne, Kathy, and Emma. And so we're gonna be cooking like a hibachi style meal for them. And then I've got four loaves of bread going in the oven that does not go together, but oh well. Um, I just wanted to bake and have stuff ready for them. But it's just gonna be so exciting. I'm really pumped for Mike and Anne and Kathy to all get to be together all at one time. So um, there'll definitely be photos and videos happening over the next few days. We have fun things planned to go do and show them about Oklahoma. So it's gonna be exciting and you're gonna get to see it. So stay tuned. We've just been cleaning and getting ready for the day. Um, Curry came over and helped me clean house and she bustled my couch while I baked bread. So we're just ready for them to get here. And the loaves of bread just came out of the oven, so they're ready and waiting. I started it. It's going to make me cry. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> they arrived around midnight and now they're off to get a good night's sleep so Kathy can meet her birth mother in the morning. 
As many of you know, this was a big secret that was never spoken of in all these years. Um, Pauline was forced to give her baby up for adoption, and so she had written letters to um, Kathy when she was a baby, and the adoption agency had all these letters. So here Kathy is showing her the letters, and it clicked for Pauline, and she became very emotional and apologetic, and it was just a really sweet moment. Um, Kathy brought her a Union Jack blanket, which she absolutely loves, as you can see here. So we are just patiently waiting for Kathy, Anne, and Emma to arrive. There's a lot going on. Swinging, rocking, riding, and golf. As they came down our street and pulled in our driveway, they were honking and the emotions hit me. And the next part you're about to see is the absolute sweetest. Getting to watch Mike hug his sister Kathy for the very first time ever in his life and meeting Emma for the first time ever was so incredibly special. And then to turn around and see our kids meeting their Aunt Kathy and her meeting their babies was just really, really cool. Kathy was really thoughtful and brought the babies all special treats. And then we just enjoyed the rest of the evening out and about. Um, the weather was really nice at the time and Hunter cooked us up a really great meal, like I mentioned before, on the Blackstone. And then the rest of the evening was spent telling stories and here Mike and Ann and Kathy are reading over some of their mother's recipes sharing a lot of first time moments together. And then we got to hear the full story on exactly how Kathy discovered or found Mike and Ann. This truly was a special day, just seeing the three of them together and then all of our kiddos here and enjoying time together. The next morning we loaded up and we're gonna be heading to Pawhuska, Oklahoma. All of the family members got to go except for Colby. Um, but on our way over, we passed through Barnsdall, Oklahoma. We actually had to take a detour and you're about to see some very, um, sad things here. The tornado that hit Barnsdall, um, you can see right here, it took out homes and it was just super sad. And obviously Kathy and Emma had never seen or experienced anything like this. So we were very up close and personal with it. Um, we didn't realize we were gonna be encountering this on our day trip today. Um, this was just really gut-wrenching to see and we have friends that live there and they just said that the town is completely devastated here we are as we arrived in pawhuska Anne happens to be a big fan of the pioneer woman so we decided to go ahead and eat at the restaurant there in the mercantile and then walk around and see the store 
and just get out and about and check the town out. Now, you may recognize some of these photo ops from our video um, several weeks back, weekend shenanigans with my sister-in-law and brother. Um, we had such a great time that weekend, so we decided that this would be a great place to bring these guys and just let everyone enjoy some sunshine and get out and have some fun. Hunter and Brayden seem to have a really good time trying to freak everyone out on the bridge. Um, kind of reminded me of my brother Donnie and Mike the day we all went and they were trying to scare Connie and I on this exact same bridge. So we are in Pawhuska, Oklahoma, and this is the Drummond Ranch. Some of you might be fans of the uh, Pioneer Woman and the Mercantile, or Mercantile, I'm not sure how you say it, is where we were earlier. And now we've driven out to the ranch, and this is the lodge. I'm going to go in and check it out in just a second. Once again, if you happen to watch her show, you will recognize this cooking space and the interior here. This is where her camera crew stays. These Dutch ovens just happened to catch my eye. The sourdough baker in me was a little bit envious. Okay, you guys, how stinking cute is this? Um, last time we were here, the mamas were all expecting, and so we were excited to come back and see all of these babies. And oh my wow, there were a ton of babies all around. Now, I will say the first, you know, hour of driving through the Tall Grass Prairie Reserve, we didn't see anything. And then all of a sudden, bam, all of the mamas and babies. The next day, Todd, which is Anne's son, our nephew, arrived and we got to spend time with him. This is just a cute pic of Curry and her aunties and then Curry with the aunties and Emma. And then Wednesday night, we were all at church together, um, just kind of getting to say our last goodbyes. And that was no fun, of course. It's never fun to say goodbye. And three and a half days certainly isn't long enough for siblings to connect and get to know each other after a lifetime of not ever even knowing about each other. Hey there, what a crazy busy weekend and week we've had. Yes, absolutely. Saturday started out with a benefit tournament um, <clears throat> that was put on at the Broken Arrow Lanes. A bunch of my bowling friends uh, couldn't have done it without Carol at Newport, um, Amanda Ross, uh, Kevin Mitchell, and John Novak. Uh, so many people, Gore Fam, um, just people contributing and helping out and doing t-shirts and uh, getting lineage and, and just it was a great it was a great day it was so much fun uh, a lot of people came I think five different states were represented uh, they raised money for Karen and I in, in this you know cancer fight that we're having and, and to help out with expenditures and different things that are going to come along the way and uh, it was it was humbling uh, it, it was it was just amazing it was an absolutely amazing day and uh, just the different folks that have been contributing along the lines. Uh, has been quite overwhelming as well. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for anybody that's watching right now that has helped in any form or any fashion. Uh, we are very, very thankful uh, for that. And then... Um, Mike got to meet someone very special. You saw that. Uh, how did you feel about it? Oh. I'm gonna ask you, put you in the hot seat. That was name? emotional. That was, you know, I didn't get as emotional as I thought I probably would, but that was amazing. You know, I mean, it's mind-blowing to know we have had this sister for 67 years and now um, got to meet her and meet her lovely daughter Emma and spend you know wow what, two and four, a half no two four and days, half days three days together which was not enough but I mean with her gracious heart and loving kind spirit and her son 
was yeah. a big part. Yeah. Uh, ben got them over here to spend time. My sister had her there in, in Texas for a day or two, and then you know she got to meet my mom and. That was... Or our mom. Yeah. Um, I know I showed you some footage and pictures from the meeting of um, Kathy getting to meet their mom. And they told us that that was just really emotional. Emotional. That makes me emotional thinking about it. Um, just knowing how sweet and kind and loving that his mom and dad were. But yet she had to go through what she went through and put Kathy up for adoption. And um, then her realizing it after she saw the letters um, that Kathy showed her that she had written to the adoption agency, um, it made her cry. So um, it clicked for what had actually happened. Yeah, and she kept saying, why did I do that? You know, I'm so, so I mean, sorry. It was, yeah. it was going against everything that she knew. And I mean, her, her mind's not 100% there any longer, but, but, but that part's there. And she just kept saying, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. But, you know, Kathy will tell you, you know, it was great. She had a great life. I, I don't think she ever felt unloved. Mm -hmm. I don't think that, um, I think her mom and her dad, her adopted parents did a fantastic job helping her know what was going on, why it was going on, uh, was very communicated. It was communicated very well that um, the circumstances behind everything and with my mom writing the letters she did, I think it showed uh, the love that was there. And it was just circumstances and, uh, you know, kind of a sign of the times back in the 50s. They were very, very poor and it was right after World War II. Uh, I mean, granted 10 years, but um, that country was devastated with bombs and my, my folks, you know, or my mom especially, but her family got bombed out. I mean, it was just, it was a crazy, it was a crazy Very world. different from America and England today even. But Kathy is so sweet. We love her. She's, She's adorable. Emma, her daughter, our niece, amazing. Um, I think Emma wanted to take the little baby Bodie home with her in yeah. her suitcase. She fell in love with Bodie. Um, loved on all the babies and we just had such a good time with them here and can't wait for them to come back or hopefully someday we get to go over there and visit them and meet all the rest of our family. So um, they were here, they're gone now and it's back to the grind. Um, we've got nice weather again. We had some crazy weather while they were here. Lots of tornadoes in the area. You saw pictures and footage of Barnstall, yeah, so Oklahoma. Sad. Prayers, um, yeah. Praying for that. Town. community yeah um but anyways next week we've got some fun stuff to show you that we're working on that brayden's working on and doing so we will be seeing you all next week so stay tuned stay tuned god bless have thanks. a great week thanks for watching